I really uh, welcome you and you are really lucky guys uh, to start learning Korean language. Why I say all this? Uh, I didn't say actually, mainly uh, it happened with uh, year ago, uh, 2004. 2004. I just had, I've been here in Singapore uh, for over nine, uh, 10 years now, 19, 10 years ago. I came in 1996. In Europe 2004, I happened to uh, read an article about uh, Korean uh, language uh, published in a worldwide American discovery. Uh, those world English uh, scholars unanimously they announced Korean language is the most idealistic language in the world, humans ever made in a world history. It means uh, they given very high compliments not on Korean hands and bodies, but on Korean language, actually. Korean language, yes. Then I like to know uh, uh, not only this actually. By this uh, Harvard, Harvard University uh, professor, uh, Mr. Lai Xiao, Dr. Lai Xiao, he said Korean language is the most systematic and scientific language in the world. And Jeffrey Sampson, the Dr. Jeffrey Sampson uh, professor in UK, he also said uh, Korean language is the most idealistic and intellectual languages, uh, language in the world, humans ever made in our world history. Means they given highest, highest compliments. Not only that, uh, John Mann, the, uh, Dr. John Mann, uh, he's a scientist actually, but he said Korean language is the most idealistic language. Every foreign language has ever dreamed of in our world history. So they give very highest compliments on Korean language. Yes, Korean. Europe 2004, Korea was uh, 35th ranked in the world economy. And something happened in uh, three years back, 2010. 2010. Uh, so I cannot believe but they really have. Korea became uh, 10th largest in the world economy and 7th largest in the world trade. World trade. I really have. But still I want to uh, trace back, trace back to, hey, you two guys, can I have your name? Ashley. Ashley. Angeline, this one. Uh, Angeline and Angeline. Ashley. Angeline. Ashley, not Ashley. Huh? Ashley. 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 and Angeline. Angeline. Yeah, okay. Then you're welcome. Now I just about my, my start with English. And three years back, 2010, suddenly became top 10 in the world economy. I cannot believe my eyes. And seventh largest in the world trading all happening uh, three years back. But as I told you, I've been here in Singapore for 20 years. And so I like to, uh, I want to trace back to 1990. Why I Tries to be more specific in 1998. We were uh, 53rd ranked in the world economy. And uh, 1998, we Koreans were very, very happy. We really enjoy our lives. And uh, there are so many Korean handsome boys came to Singapore for overseas study. And so uh, I, uh, I had a very long queues of Korean handsome boys here at our school. They have a long queue to 
learn from me mathematics and uh, English grammar. It was in 1990. And actually, I was quite good at uh, English grammar. But ironically, uh, those students uh, learned from me math, they jumped up very high. Or top, top of the tops for at school, you know, they all became top, top, top. But uh, suddenly in 1998, Singapore dollar, Singapore dollar became tremendously strong. And so, Korean has a voice couldn't survive in Singapore. Yeah. And so, most of our uh, Korean handsome boys went to America, to the States and Australia. Mostly, uh, most of them to America. And got uh, a lot of calls from them saying they are very, very happy. They were very happy staying there in America. And some of their uh, driving their cars to go uni, go to school and so they give me a lot of calls. At the time, I felt very sorry for them. If they could stay here and mingle around all these Korean, uh, not Korean, Singaporean pretty girls and then la 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 la, I think that a lot of exchange comes, cultural exchange. And then it is immense in so many ways that a lot of uh, beautiful exchange comes, as I'm sure, but it didn't happen when that. It was 1990, I still remember. Up to 1998, why I give here milestone and turning point in 1990, up to 1998, we've been, uh, we've been using so-called uh, Chinese, Chinese character mixed Korean language. Up to 1990, but uh, something happened to Korean uh, heads and boys since 1990. Here, Japan, uh, Japan was here. Japan, Korea was here. Uh, Jap uh, Japanese heads and boys were uh, in 1998 almost top of the tops. Here it is. The fifth rank in the world economy, and uh, their economy still uh, stayed in the world economy. And Korean handsome boy were here, and all the way there is a very huge gap between Japanese handsome boy, Korean handsome boy. I still remember we were fifty third ranked in the world economy, and uh, something happened here. Korean and Japanese has a boy, uh, they uh, collaborate to build up so called world best online real time knowledge database. You can easily see from neighbor.com or neighbor Japan, you can easily see this knowledge database with some together with the Japanese hands. But all these economists and scientists and world English scholars, they, they laughed at Korean hands. Hey, you don't ever try to near to Japan, Japanese hands. It is not possible. Because those data reserved by Japanese hands and boys and the data reserved by Korean, there is a huge scale. According to them, minimum 100 years gap, minimum 100 years gap between Japanese hands and boys and Korean hands and boys in knowledge database. Some scholars, they say 200 years, 200 years. There must be a reason, right? Otherwise, they won't say like, yes, surely there is a reason. Yes, we Korean. But uh, 5,000 years ago, Korean history, 5,000 years of Korean history, during this time, uh, Japanese has a boy. They got only uh, two times a book, foreign attack, only twice. While Korean has a boy, 
그래서 코, 코리아, 코리아 이스 코리아 이스 코리아 이스 surrounded by China super super power China China is and here Russia and also Japan this all super powers it is surrounded by super powers and all the way have been attacked how many times don't be surprised during 5,000 years of Korean history 700 times this one is a disastrous uh, attack means uh, Korean most of the Koreans already gone 700 times then very considerably uh, disastrous uh, attack was for 3,000 times and so we got uh, we got room uh, to reserve data all burnt and all up. And so, whenever, wherever we can find homeless people, that was Korea. That was Korea. And uh, not only that, this Korean peninsula, Korean peninsula, uh, is uh, has got mountains. 70% of the peninsula is covered with mountain and very severe and freezing cold winter we have and so impossible to survive it it means uh, very uh, poverty all, all the way exists during thousand years of korean history we can say that there is korean and then we got oil no oil oil mayo we got no oil at all. And all the way, I still remember when I was young, we uh, were, we are all, all the time concerned about uh, the meal. I still remember when I was there. Yeah. That was Korea. And so, if we consider all these difficult uh, surroundings and our existing condition, uh, and compare it to any other uh, country, we are one of the worst country in the world, according to. But still, North Korea is still uh, much better because they got minerals, huge minerals, tremendous, tremendous minerals there. That is our Korea. And, we, uh, and so uh, we totally agree. Minimum 150, 100, 150 behind Japan, we agree in the 1990s. But then why Japanese hands and boy won, uh, won us? In building up knowledge database, because luckily, luckily, Korean hands and boys, they, they started so-called IT, information technology, and then they built up after certain level, quite high level, quite well competitive in '99. So they collaborated, and uh, in 1998, I still remember. Most of the Korean heads of boy, whenever I see them, they are doing, they are doing, not study, they are doing online, online chat dating, online chat, online gaming only. And so, actually, I, I was, in, in a sense, I was very depressed. And I thought Korean economy will be, in a very few years, it will be plunged down. That was my prediction in 1990. When I, whenever I see them, they are checking and gaming in real time. It was 1990, I still remember. But something happened in 2004. Suddenly, this Japanese hands of boy they surrender. 2004, they surrender. We do not want to build up knowledge database anymore. They announced. It was very shock to us. Really shocked. Especially for me, it was very, very shocked. Because that time, I, I, all the time, I'm teaching Korean language. It was such a um, surprising pronouncement by all these Japanese hands. And then, neighbor of that Japan just stood still. There's no movement at all. And so, and then what happened? I didn't know the reason. I thought Japanese. 
business as boys, they don't want to share their knowledge with other country and so that, uh, they cross their knowledge data with so on. We thought so. I was thought so. Okay, it was not. More language scholars after their research and then as I go a while ago highlighted, they given highest compliments on the Korean language and they given statement saying that Korean language is super 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 speedy super speedy comparing with any other languages and just I simply compare with the Japanese and Chinese based on their research results talking speed whether it's Japanese or Chinese there's no much difference at all but when it comes to typing or sending SMS extremely fast how fast seven times faster than Japanese eight times faster than Chinese this one was very short to me when it comes to uh, uh, typewriting or sending SMS such a tremendous speed comes this one still I cannot realize speed how it will be I mean uh, series I simply compare with four sheets of paper for typing now one Korean handsome boy, he's now uh, typing to submit his report to his professor tomorrow and he took two hours to complete his report to type. <laughs> then Japanese handsome boy from Waseda or Tokyo University, one of the most outstanding and brilliant uh, Japanese handsome boys. He needs how many hours? He needs 14 hours, 14 hours. Even he's a much smarter than Korean as a boy. He's studying a much better university than Korean university. Still, he needs 14 hours, 14 hours. We've got competitiveness from here. And so this Japanese handsome boy, he cannot submit tomorrow. He cannot submit this report. How about the day to tomorrow? Also cannot submit. So, uh, he gonna finish it the day to tomorrow in the late afternoon and then how can submit to the professor. And so we can easily compare. There is a situation. Not only this, but also they uh, compared sound also number of sound each foreign language could produce based on that uh, this Japanese this just Japanese language has got uh, hiragana, garagana and kanji 50 of consonant vowels with five vowels can produce 300 sounds how about Chinese? Chinese has got uh, millions of Chinese vocabularies. And even a quarter of Chinese vocabularies, you cannot master for your life by having. Actually, I include a Chinese cat here. Korean Chinese, Korean Chinese cat, I'm quite strong. How many sounds you can produce? 400 sounds. And uh, English, how about English language? English language has got uh, 26 consonant vowels, 5 vowels, consonant 21. This English language can produce exactly 360 uh, sounds. It's released in the year of 2012 uh, World Language Olympic held in uh, Bangkok, Thailand. It's released by World Language Scholars. How about Japanese? 
How about in Korean language? Korean language has got 24 consonant vowels. 24. 24. With 10 vowels and 14 consonants can produce, produce how many sounds? Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. World language scholars in the year of 2004, they were amazed at Korean language. Yeah. They were really amazed at Kam Kam. Kam New Friend. Yeah, yeah. Can I have your name? Cecilia. And so I got here Kelvin, Janice, Karen, Alvin, Ashley, Angeline, Jeremy, Cheska, Cecilia. Just now I, I don't know your name actually. I'm just referring to this Korean pronunciation. Yeah? We don't need Cecilia, we don't say no, Cecilia. But I'm just referring Korean pronunciation. Then uh, we can uh, find how many sound the Korean language can produce. Don't be surprised, okay? Don't be surprised. 300, 400, 360 sound, while Korean language can produce with only 24 consonant vowels. How many? 8,700 sounds. And theoretically, 11,000, 11,000. And so, World Language Scholars also enter. World Language Olympic last year, first winner, Korean language. Second year, uh, second winner, Indian, one of Indian language minor, and third one was in English. That was last year. 2009, also, we had World Language Olympic. Still, Korean language is first winner. Second language. Second winner was uh, Greek. Third winner was Italian. Still, Korean language is still the first winner. This is Korean language. And so, you are about to start learning. And, as I highlighted, this Japanese handsome boy here surrendered. They do not, uh, they do not want to continue uh, setting up this, building up online knowledge database. Not because they are not smart. Not because they are not working harder. We know it. They are very industrious people, and, and they are quite smart people. And so that's why they were top, tops in the world in economy. Remember? But they surrendered. Why? Because of this scheme. Korean, uh, then why the, this Korean handsome boy, why previously why they are not speedy? Why they are not speedy? Because they use, we use Chinese mixed Korean up to 1990. We use. Then why suddenly, it means we use the uh, pure Korean uh, language since 1990? Yes. yes. By whom? Not by us, but by young people like you, young generation. For what? Doing online chat dating, online gaming. For what? To make friends with girls faster, faster. They don't want Chinese sentences, so they don't want, they want la 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 la. They only the interested in EG going. Dan K pop, K dance, online chat dating, online gaming to compete with the world competitor. All this they are doing. So they start using only pure Korean since 1990 while they are using internet. We didn't know the reason. Because this was the main reason. Main reason. Since 1998, Suddenly, suddenly, 
Korean e economy is something hand. So need skyrocket. The need is jumping up year by year, not in a normal speed. We didn't know the reason. And then some more Japanese hands over here, sorry. And not only Japanese hands on boy, okay? Korean, Korean mass media also they surrender. So far up to 2004, Korean mass media, we still used Chinese mixed Korean. And in an editorial, Chief editors all the way concerned about Korean young generation, including myself. You young generation. If you do not use Chinese character, Korean vocabularies are most of almost over 70% of Korean vocabularies are mainly derived from Chinese hands. Then our young generation may forget all. We are very, very concerned. But while they are performing pure Korean uses, while mass media we didn't, there were very tremendous people came. And so cannot communicate with them. They are too fast, too fast. And so whichever come became very creative and communication speed tremendous fast. And so very strong gap came. Huge gap. Huge gap came. And so 2004, our mass media, NBC, KBS, World, Joseon, all they all said, from the year of 2004, we're going to use pure Korean. Since 2004, we all use pure Korean. No wonder. Here to here, in six years, World ranks, 18 world ranks jumped up. All the way was like this. All the way like this. Suddenly, 18 world ranks jumped up. In six years, 25 ranks, you know, world ranks jumped up. Suddenly came. Because the Korean handsome boys are smart? I don't think so. Because the Korean handsome boy working harder? They were still the same. Only the thing they changed is they start using pure Korean. For what? For work? No. To communicate among themselves, enjoy gaming, online gaming, internet. That's all. But move tremendous fast. And okay, and so I can say 2004 is like a turning point and milestone of Korean society because here, mass media, he also surrendered to the young generation and started using pure Korean one. And so, this, this is, I think, milestone, I can say. Now, here, <clears throat> suddenly, still rising. And still now, the, there are world uh, crisis come and still uh, Korean hands and boy. As I highlighted a while ago, in Korea, there's nothing. Even a single uh, drop of oil also don't have mayo. <laughs> There's nothing. Very severe winter season. 70% of the peninsula are covered with very uh, high mountain. There's nothing. You go and you see, you see uh, with my, uh, my uh, precious eyes and uh, you can exactly see. It is a Korean peninsula and Korean has a position. And, but uh, some people say that made the Korean hands and boy to stronger. They should survive one. And so they became stronger. Okay? Some, uh, some people also say that. Then, now I like to know I'd like to know what made Korean handsome boys survive up to now. Because I already told you, 5,000 years of Korean history, we have been attacked by superpower like China, Russia, and Japan over 700 times. It's disastrous attack, 700 times. 
almost gone into win range. And considerable, very huge attack, 3,000 times. But still could survive up to now. And so one of the most famous historian, Dr. Arnold Toynbee from UK, he pointed out, it's a miracle. It's really miracle. Still Korean Peninsula and still Korean has a boy still exists here in this world. There is miracle, they say. Yeah, that's good. And according to all this, uh, when I collect all this reference, we got four factors. Four factors. This Korean has a boys can survive up. Four factors. What is the main factor? First factor was uh, a, a lot of them is very high loyalty to our king and our superior. We had this very high loyalty. Not only that, but also we got very high respect to our elderly people. That it means. Uh, Angelin, right? Angelin? And what's your name? Oh, Kelvin. Now, Kelvin is uh, now, uh, you are 